Hero skins in Watch of Realms are weird. We can go really, really quickly from amazing works of art to whatever this is. This skin took me 10 hours of grinding to get and I regret every minute of it. <laughs> Anyways, today I have for you guys nine currently unreleased skins ranging from various levels of quality, from some amazing, amazing skins, all the way to some really, really, really bad ones. And we're going to be going through them today in order from my least favorite all the way to my most favorite. And we're going to see how they compare to the current skins in the game. And I'm also going to rank them later on. Hit that like button and subscribe and let's get into it. Now the worst skin that we have that we're going to be starting off with is one of an epic, which I don't think it really changes anything in fact, and I have talked about it in the past, and that is Komodo skin. So as you can see on the screen, Komodo skin is kind of just a retextured Komodo. I will say it is quite a bit cooler in a couple aspects, like the swords on the back. I like that they changed his his sword, swords that he's holding to purple, all of that stuff. But it, it's a Komodo skin. Let's be real, guys. The other ones are at least on interesting characters or interesting concepts. This just kind of feels like a reskinned thing. Now, he does have things with like the padding on his shoulders, which is pretty cool. And this is not a bad skin, it is definitively better but i don't like it you know it it's <laughs> I, I don't like it this is my least favorite of the batch so for this one it's going to be the only double up that i will be doing and they're both epics two of which i was very excited for in the cultist faction iona and hollow and i suppose this is where i probably have to bring up how i am ordering these by so i'm ordering them as a couple things so one is just how it looks in general and the other thing is how much better it is than the actual normal skin. And I think that these two are worse. But I do like their ideas more than I like the Komodo one. So you might be immediately put off by this because it is super, super strange. But this is our Iona skin. This is not Iona <laughs> at all. Um, so Panther has the idea that this is probably for the Oktoberfest type thing if they ever do one. There is definitely a possible chance this doesn't get used. Iona skin, very, very strange. Not at all like Iona. And then this is a hollow skin. What the hell? I hope these don't get added to the game personally, just because it's a completely different hero. Unless this is just marked as a hollow and Iona skin, uh, but really they're just models that are going to be used in the game for an event or something. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't really know. Uh, these ones are pretty freaking weird. <laughs> Let's move on to, uh, <laughs> let's move on to the next one. Now, staying in the epics for the cultist faction, we have Greed. This Greed one I have shown before. I think it's slightly better than his normal skin, but I don't really like it that much. Now, this one, we do actually know where it's going to be obtainable. This is going to be part of a reward for the new Gilby Gold Gauntlet thing. So I assume somehow when you play through it, you'll be able to get the skin. So that'll be pretty cool. I like a couple things in this design. You know, whatever the hell these designs are right here. This this <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's holding, but I kind of I kind of like that. And I think the facial panders are a bit cool, uh, cooler than um, the normal skin. But I kind of hate the color scheme. I think it looks kind of disgusting. So that's the greed skin. There you go. Now, moving on, we have a character that's not even in the game yet. And that is Tolula. Now, Tolula's skin, the reason why it's not anywhere higher, it is top five in this batch, this batch of nine. The reason why it's not higher is because it is majorly a reskin. I think it looks a lot better than her normal skin. But the other ones do some things that are a bit more interesting, a bit more unique, and a bit executed better. So that is why it's not as high, although this is a pretty cool skin. This is in the, the top five are the skins I really, really like, and I think that are really, really cool. And the bottom four were just kind of odd. So now we're into the actually good ones, and that's where Tallulah's going to be. Now, I don't actually have this character. And I would put the skin higher, but there's just not that much that sets it apart 
and that is Trusk Skin. So I really, really, really like this one. But if we go to it, it's not that much different. So by my own criteria, I can't really place it higher. I think it looks so much better like this. I really like the Godzilla vibes and the different color scheme and all of that. I think it's it's really, really cool. I like the the colors are so much better. I, I, I just like it more than this base one by a lot, but I can't put it higher. Now when we're on to my top three favorites, these are pretty interchangeable, but we're going to start with the Salazar one. I really like the Salazar one, but I think the model just looks a little bit goofy. And as you can see, first impressions, it looks kind of stupid. But if you look at the stuff on the side, it looks really sick. And if we were to go in a little bit more, I think it looks pretty interesting. I think it's a, it's an interesting idea. It looks like he's playing the guitar and stuff. It's pretty interesting. I like the color scheme. I like how much it changes from the original. And I think it looks just a little bit cooler, more interesting. Uh, but it does have some flaws, like how... His hair looks freaking weird as shit <laughs> in the in the model. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know. He he looks a bit a bit goofy. So you know, this is probably gonna be part of some event. I hope it's free because I would actually like this. And I hope I pull Salazar. You know, I didn't pull Salazar. Maybe they'll add a Pharisee skin and then have a whole lizard day thing. But really late. I don't know what the hell. What, what the hell is going to happen with half these skins. Some of them are definitely going to be from W Gold, but that is the Salazar skin. Now, staying in the Nightmare Faction, the second hero that is not released, that we do have a confirmed skin coming, is going to be Kirigi. So I am saying his name right now. It is K it's Kagiri, sorry. Kagiri has a skin and it's really sick so this was before the character even had a name and as you can see this skin looks pretty sick i mean if you look closely i know this is not the best uh model or the best representation to show but he has like a kind of eye thing on his head which the normal skin does not have i really really like the, de the design on the arms i think the color scheme is sick it's kind of like a dark corrupted um soldier kind of going all into the uh, the demon side. I think it looks really, really cool. I think Kagiri has one of the better designs in the game, and this just kind of brings it to the whole nother level. You obviously don't have to equip it if we get given it. I hope this is part of like the event or something, because that would be sick. Um, I will have a video going over the event fairly, very, fairly soon. Um, but this looks really cool. I really like it. I love his base design. I love this design. I think it looks sick. And now, this might be a little bit of a bias, but my favorite skin out of these bat, uh, out of this batch of skins, is going to be Vortex's skin. So, Vortex's skin is sick. The reason why I really like this skin a lot, let me zoom in a little bit. The reason why I like this skin so much is because they take his already pretty solid design, and they take that theming, and they just go even further. That's partially why I like this skin so much, aside from the fact that it looks sick. Um, it's him in more of a, a C kind of environment or a C kind of uh, design, and I think it looks great. So he has like some coral and stuff all over him, and I just, it's so aesthetically pleasing to me. Vortex is one of my favorite characters. I like that they didn't butcher it or they didn't go in a completely 180 direction. Sure, the Kagiri one and the Salazar one could be considered better, and I am definitely biased, but screw you guys. I get to make my own damn decisions, and this is my favorite skin out of the nine. So, uh, yeah, I'm very excited for this one. Hopefully this one ends up being free, because I do not want to spend W Gold on skins in this game anymore. Is it better than some of the other skins in the game right now? Like the, uh, the Yimmert skin? No. It's not better than the Emirates skin. I mean, look at this freaking thing. That is an absolutely insane skin to have. Uh, I know Boreas has one of the coolest skins as well, which I actually did end up getting. This one is sick. The animations are amazing. Now, I do not have the animations for most of these uh, these skins that I just showed. Obviously, when they get released, if they get released, because it is not confirmed when, where, or if some of these are getting released, we will see. 
But I really, really hope that some of those ones have really sick animations. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what they do with them. You know, we got a lot of really good heroes getting some skins. And I, I love skins in games. I am, uh, I am a big supporter of skins in mobile games, especially because when they are pure cosmetic, they help support the game and you do not have any obligation to go for them. And also, something I will say is at least none of the skins were as bad as this freaking toothpaste abomination skin. Like, this one is terrible. Or the, uh, the Zilla 2 one, I really don't like, even though only, like, 50 people in the entire server have it. Uh, per server, I guess. You know, I think that one's a little meh. And then I would say the Olog skin also is not very good. You know, all of these skins are at the very least better than a slight reskin. They at least bring some uh, some different things in. Except the Komodo skin. Screw you, Komodo. Why are you getting a skin? Get out of here. <laughs> but yeah, so that is everything I have for you guys. Just figured I would try a bit of a different editing style and recording style. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to just not do it, it is more work, so uh, I'm open to feedback, of course. But there's the leaks, those are the uh, the upcoming info type things, and I'm, I'm fairly excited. I really like design stuff, I really like when characters change their looks, and especially when you can actually change it yourself, without it just being changed automatically. <coughs> LO and face change. <coughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it, and take care, y'all. Destined signing out.